So yeah. just to follow up on the rest of the front row, who decided after six or eight weeks? <laughs> you that said that. Uh, hopefully the back row hears. <laughs> well, who, decided, who, who is the person in the West Wing yeah. who decided after six or eight weeks that this baby formula shortage was finally something that somebody should tell the president about? Look, again, I have to go back and talk to the president. I did not hear him take questions or answer any questions to all of you. And so this is, I want to do my due diligence, right, as his spokesperson to make sure that I have a conversation. Um, what I can tell you is what we have been doing as an administration since the day one of a recall. And, and just let me, let me just say this because I want to make sure since you know, we have folks watching, that the actions that we're taking, that we took, actually made a difference here. DPA is allowing manufacturers to reliably plan for scaling production. In the case of Abbott and their suppliers, an increase of 25%, they have, they can be manufacturing at 100% capacity. Likewise, Rickett plans to expand production by 40%. Operation Fly, Fly Formula has cut three to four week timelines for, Nest, for Nestle product to move the, the Europe to Europe to 72 hour periods through FDA's enforcement discretion we will get 27.5 million bottles from Bubs uh, Australia so these are all important actions including the graphs that I just showed how high production production is higher than it was a year ago so this is also important we want to make sure that the American people the American families know that we have been working on this 24 7 uh, the president has done everything that he is able to do or has been able to do and we'll continue to do more work because we understand Understand there's more work to be okay. done. Okay, another big topic. When are you guys going to admit that you were wrong about inflation? <laughs> no easy questions today, huh? Uh, the Treasury <laughs> Secretary says that she was wrong, so why doesn't anybody okay. here at the White House? Okay, so look, what uh, what the Secretary was pointing out, uh, out uh, this is talking about yesterday when she was doing her, her hit uh, with uh, her TV hit with CNN, is that there have been shocks to the economy that have exacerbated inflationary pressures, which couldn't have been foreseen 18 months ago, Why including. Not? In, well, let me. I'm, I'm trying to answer your question. I'm, I'm, hold on. I, I was just getting to the why not, uh, including Russia's decision to inc invade Ukraine, multiple successive variants of COVID and lockdowns in China. As, as she also noted during that interview, there has been historic growth and record job creation, and our goal is now to transition to steady and stable growth as inflation is brought down, as uh, Brian D said yesterday to all of you when he was standing behind this podium. So the present economic plant as we see it is working. Just today we learned that the manufacturing was up in May, building on the 545,000 manufacturing jobs have been created since he took office. Further proof that companies are investing in America. We are on a path to stable growth and we are addressing supply chain problems. Our plan to tackle inflation, lower costs, reduces the de deficit and respects the FDA's independence. It's the best way for us to achieve sustainable and durable e economic growth. So that's how we're, we're doing, what, the work that we're doing every day to make sure that we attack lower costs. And just, lower that I, costs. just that I understand, the Treasury Secretary says that she was wrong, but the White House was not wrong about so inflation. Here's the thing, we have, we have he, we have achieved a, first of all, I explained what, to you what she was trying to say. So I just laid that out. So those are your words, not my words. I just laid out what she was trying to say and tried to explain in full, in fullness, uh, her, her part in, in, in her answer. We have achieved an, an historic recovery through an extraordinarily unprecedented economic moment. The president has consistently noted that the primary drivers of inflation are the pandemic and Putin's invasion of Ukraine. The twists and turns of both these monumental events have affected energy prices and also food prices that we have seen these past several months. This is Putin's price hike, which the president refers to, and that is what Secretary Yellen was referring to if you, if you read the entire transcript. And that's what I'm, I'm trying to say to you. Hopefully, hopefully that lands. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, hit like and subscribe to our channel so you'll be sure to see similar videos from Blaze TV with the added bonus of signaling YouTube that your voice and opinion still matters. And if you're looking for more great conservative content, check out one of the two videos suggested here. Let's go, Brandon.